forget to subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up if you like it. What? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. 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 Scribe. Scribe. Subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>And I've got my young helper here, Parker's Adventures. We're going to glue this skeleton in the bottom of this tank. So, Parker's setting out the skeleton on the floor. <coughs> and... It looks a little bit weird. <laughs> What are these bones here? Where are those in your body? The bones! Where are they in your body? Are your arm bones or your leg bones? I don't know. You don't know? Let's, let's... I think the head's in the right spot. I don't even know what that bit is. Um, the neck. Is that the neck? All right. This is a big bone, so that'll be the that'll be a foot bone, and that's a foot bone, correct? These might be arm bones. How does that look? <laughs> is that better? Yeah. All right. So we've got to get the rest of the water out of the tank. And then we can glue him in there. And then we'll check back in. How's it looking? Good. It's a little bit not sticky. All right. Back soon. So, there's Parker's final skeleton. Skeleton. And that's how we're going to glue it in the tank. Yeah. Which side should we put the head up? This side or that side? That side. All right then. Where's the glue gone? It's over here from our last project. Need to put the camera down so you can see what's going on. That neck. Now I need the neck Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look how spooky that is. It looks pretty real. Looks pretty real. It, look, it, look, it looks like a new person. It looks real it's when you look in. Should we move this down a bit? No. <laughs> there? No, I'm gonna Back up? Yes. Alright. It could cause all the cart reach his neck. Can he? There we go. Now we're going to go get the gravel and wash the gravel. Okay? Okay. Let's go get it. Yeah. Parker's washing out the brown gravel. Got some IBCs over there ready for the fish room. Hang on Ed, don't wet me. I need to pull that. What? The other bunch has so many. Here we go. And now I'm going to put So we'll wash this out, and then we'll put it in the tank. The gravel's going in. Oh, some put on the skeleton. I'm just trying not to, but. We can wash it off when we put the water in. Doesn't matter if we put them on the skeleton. But it's still dangerous. Those feet are creepy. What? Those feet are creepy. See how they're sticking upwards? Try not to get it on there. Oh, I was only going to spread it out a little bit. But the water will put it on the skeleton. I know, but if we don't have to put it on there, why do we put it on there? Just put it in the gaps, in between the legs there. Or in the corner. to make all this entrance look a bit nicer. Get rid of all the crap lying around.
It's all right. Do that half, and then I'll move the ladder over for you. Put some in the corner. You got two corners there. You got that whole bucket go on that side and the red bucket go on the other side. Oh, well, don't put it on the hand because it's not glued very good. Trying to put it on the hand. See it's wobbly? Yeah. So try not to put it on the hand, okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't move if you put it on something else. I'll do a couple of scoops. Can you reach over that back corner? No. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you did. You did it. Try not to get it on the other hand, because it will break it. Done. You done? Yeah. Move the ladder over for you? Yeah. Alright. You can stay here for Halloween. He's watching you. Skeleton man. Tony? Yes. He's hidden. It's that day. No, don't hit it. Yeah, because I'm going to get you the other bucket. Can I get you the red bucket? Okay. Comes a red bucket. It's that day. Oh my god, I need something in the middle. Yeah, we do. How do we get it? Baby Rostratus. <laughs> Female Z Rocks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nice Taiwan reef mail. Christmas fully. Some red empress. I'll we'll grab a handful of food and feed them. If I can remember where I put the food.
Fry for days, boys. Fry for days. See what he's doing. What's he doing? What? Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> he's in the rock. I see that. You need something over here, look, in the middle. Can I? Yeah, you can. Just put some. I just need that part of it. It's got all stuff on there. There you go. Got some resumes in there. Some water changes tomorrow. Something is getting to go. Time to fill it up. Yes, we can. So, let's head over to our channel intro of the week. Over to you. Hi everyone, I'm Tim G from Melbourne, Australia and Jace from Perth Cichlids has asked me to do a bit of a uh, channel info on uh, what my channel's about and the fish and so forth so um, here we go thanks very much Jace not very often I get to see them actually out and um, just this morning here we go look at that L270 sitting on the filter just sitting there having a nice morning I run uh, five tanks here. I run three tanks in the lounge room and two up the front room, which is the old kitchen. And up there I have basically just breeding tanks for my plecos and some other fish, which I don't show very much of, but uh, most of the time you'll see the three main tanks that I run in the back end of the house or the lounge room. Um, I do also put videos up for four-wheel driving and some of my woodwork projects, but most of the time it's mainly fish tank stuff. So um, thanks very much from Jace from Perth Cichlids and um, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, this is one of my rescue tanks at the moment. It's got uh, four guppies, an angel and an Otto Sinkless. Uh, this is one of the tanks that I run for rescues if people have fish that they no longer want and they want to get rid of them or they just want to rehome them for a time and want me to look after them for a price I'll do that as well. But uh, there's the Otto down there and I've just put some zucchini and some bits and pieces in. The snails love it. 
some plants as well and um, yeah it's running good as always plants up the top just um, bits and pieces in it so yeah two foot tank water changes everything it just runs all the time so yeah this is one of my other two foot tanks it's got guppies in it it's got two peppermint plecos females that hide one beside the other one in the gap and one in the uh, little cave i've got endlers i've got guppies i've got white fin ornate tetras and i've got some albino bristlenose and snails and plants in this one and this is one that i sell plants and bits and pieces from this is my main four foot tank that's in the lounge room it's got cardinals it's got rummy nose it's got four electric blue rams that i just scored last weekend um, that are just used to the tank it's got albino short fin plecos it's got corys out the back um, it's got uh, l270s which i breed there's one of the um, tetras one of the um, cichlids, sorry, is one of the, <laughs> he's saying, oh, you're not going to eat me, no way, can't catch me. So yeah, this is my main four foot out that I run all the time. As you can see, the albinos love hiding up behind the heater, behind the filter. Corys are running around as always. Um, and I have numerous plants in here and bits and pieces and stuff, so yeah. But this is my main, one of my main breeding tanks. As you can see, there's some albino fry at the back. Albino short fin bristle nose. Um, L270, which is dad's hiding in there. There's four of them. Um, you can see some, very hard to see, but you can see some tails in there. Um, there's a little tail just down there. If I hold it still long enough. Mm. They're all over the place. But they love this tank so yeah but i love these guys these are fantastic i only just got them last week and the colors are just phenomenal you know the colors in this one but the other one one of the males over here is just the colors is fantastic in these um l270 is at the back here I'm trying to get just some good pictures of the 270s but it's a little bit hard at times with this tank because it's so big um, but as you can see there's some of the fry in the back um, but they're all over the place they don't want to show themselves at the moment but that's just the way it is but as you can see this is my four foot large tank this is one of the main breeding tanks that I use and then I take some of the fry out and I put them up the front room which I've got another couple of tanks and I use them for grow out tanks for all the fry so yeah thanks for watching enjoy thanks for that I'll put the link in the description below make sure you head over and drop a comment on some of their videos and subscribe if you're not already and still looking for more intros if you haven't done one yet there's still time so get on to it so I was just doing the fish room tour and I forgot about the um, Halloween tank we did for Halloween in 2018 with little Parker so I've just started putting that video together and I've lost the end of it and I can't find it anywhere so this is the tank as of today the heads up there we're going to put shrimp in there but um we're going to take all this out because we want it to be bare bottom so I will redo the skeleton tank in another tank or I might re I suppose I could leave it here I could just siphon all the gravel out. Let's see how we go. I'm going to siphon out the gravel. 
and set it back up as the tank we made for Halloween. So I just needed to make this video to add to the other videos to just finish it off. So hopefully I'll do this soon and then you'll see a video of it complete. So this is the Halloween tank that I've done with Young Parker. I'm just, this is how it sits today. It looks pretty cool when the skeleton gets a bit of dirt on it. Doesn't look so unnatural. But for those that aren't playing along at home, we just did a video on how to remove substrate from your tank. So. got to wait another two weeks before I can clean the filters just to watch for the um, make sure the levels don't peak looks like I've got another male in there you wouldn't read about it would you when you want females you always get males I think I've already said that before anyway this is getting sidetracked this is the um, Halloween tank yeah so I've got a drain it and re-glue the hands and stuff but this is just to finish off that video I did with Parker so there we go and remember fish tankers if you want more tanks get more tanks Whenever you're ready. If you'd like fish your hands, fish fish your hands, fish your hands. Fish if you'd like a shout out on Perth Secrets. And I know that to Perth Secrets at Outlook.com for more details. Fishy hands, quick go fishy hands.